a 72-year-old man is on treatment with vancomycin intravenously to treat MRSA infection. Which of the following lab tests should be monitored in this patient? Option A. Liver function test. B. Renal function test. C. Serum uric acid. D. Both A and B. Staphylococcus aureus or S. aureus is a gram-positive bacteria that causes a wide variety of clinical diseases. S. aureus are the causative agents of multiple human infections, including bacteremia, infective endocarditis, skin and soft tissue infections, osteomyelitis, septic arthritis, prosthetic device infections, pulmonary infections, gastroenteritis, meningitis, toxic shock syndrome, and urinary tract infections. Most of the S. aureus infections can be treated with beta-lactam antibiotics such as methicillin. Unfortunately, some S. aureus strains developed resistance to these antibiotics via expressing a gene called MECA that are unaffected by beta-lactam antibiotics. Methicillin and older penicillins can't act against them, rendering them ineffective. These methicillin-resistant staph aureus strains are also called MRSA. But MRSA can be treated with another class of antibiotics called glycopeptide antibiotics, like vancomycin. Vancomycin is bactericidal, it inhibits bacterial cell wall synthesis. It is active against most gram-positive organisms, including methicillin-resistant strains of S. aureus and enterococci. Vancomycin usually is reserved for serious infections, especially those caused by methicillin-resistant staphylococci. Typical uses include endocarditis, osteomyelitis, and staphylococcal pneumonia. Oral vancomycin is valuable in the treatment of antibiotic-induced pseudomembranous colitis caused by Clostridium difficile or S. aureus enterocolitis. Vancomycin may also be associated with some serious side effects. It includes ototoxicity and nephrotoxicity. These are rare but can occur with high doses. Vancomycin may cause hypersensitivity reactions, manifested by such symptoms as anaphylaxis and skin rash. Another characteristic side effect is red man syndrome. This is facial flushing and hypotension owing to too rapid infusion of the drug. It can be managed by reducing the infusion rate. Therefore the answer is option B. If you find this video helpful, share it with others who may find it helpful too. Subscribe Medbook for more videos like this and thanks for watching.